I have only known this young man 24 hours, and there's no way in the world just reading his face that I know he's gonna allow a man to abuse a woman in his presence. She doesn't think about me that way. She doesn't. Well, because I then just you saw him playing basketball and you, going on dates so together. So what? And... Mind your business. You say that you don't see the man that your son is. So I'm asking you, since this is not a demonstration of a man, you need to tell me what man you're using to measure him with. Which one? My idea. Which is your idea. Mm -hmm. Now, is that the idea you trained him up to be? No. Oh. So how in the blazing bejesus are you holding him accountable to a standard that you didn't teach him, his father didn't give him, he don't even know what it is, and yet as his mother, you sit in his face and tell him you don't respect him as a man. Tell me how that works. Help me. Like I said, it's an, it was events. It wasn't just. I'm not talking. I'm talking about. And it's one also thing. how he treats me. Yeah, but he I'm talking. Hello, me hello, as hello, a hello, 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 hello. So. You see, you are a provocative victim. You provoke stuff, and then when you start being held accountable for it, then you start twisting and turning and making the other person wrong. Look at me, ma. Look at me. Look at me. You just sat here and told your son, we ain't got a needle in his arm, who I'm assuming pays his own rent. He's married to a registered nurse. He's got three baby boys. And you just sat here in his face and said, I don't respect him as a man. Mm -hmm. And you don't think to consider what that does to his heart, to his soul, to his spirit. I'm sure that's hurtful. And you okay with that? And it's hurtful for the things that he says uh, But to there me. you go, you're doing it. You're doing it right now, you're doing it right now. I'm like, holding you accountable and you spinning. You spinning your web. I you're can't trying to get away. When it you're comes trying to get away. Tell me, just here's the question. Just answer it. We'll get back to that okay, other stuff I, later. I, Tell me. Forgive me, I respect him. He's a wonderful man. Do you understand that your mouth, your voice, your words are connected to the coils in his heart, to the valves in his heart? He can't help but love you. And every time you dishonor that love, you chip a piece of it, chip a piece of it. This is why in our culture as black people, when the boys turn a certain age, the men come and get him and take him away from the mother because she can emotionally manipulate him. But since we don't live in our culture no more, we say what we want to say, do what we want to say. We tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Mothers destroy sons. His mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired.